I was just thinking of uh, some Madeline and I's favorite movies. Most of the cats um, didn't go downstairs uh, that much. King King was downstairs with mom and dad a lot. Um, Miranda was downstairs sometimes mousing. Most of them like to stay in my room. Um, you know, we're kind of a very close-knit group. We just hang out all day, play, eat, you know, just very, very close-knit, you know. Uh, I think they like to stay in close quarters. And, and when they're comfortable in a certain spot, they just, you know, plant themselves. And But Madeline was the type to climb on my shoulder and just want to be with me everywhere, everywhere I went in the house. Um, even in the car, always up for an adventure, always following me. So as a result, Madeline, Madeline and I watched a lot of um, television together. Um, at the time, I was subscribing on cable to um, Hear TV and uh, Eros Now. So um, I, actually, I think it was called Bollywood Hits at the time before they changed the name to Eros Now. So we watched, I think, probably like every, just about every Indian movie we could find. She was a big fan of Ram Leela. Um, I was a big fan of Ram Leela. And um, we used to practice the dance moves all the time. That was one of our big things. But there were some other movies that she saw with the animals. Um, one of them was a documentary called Bobo, and uh, just dealing with her as an animal was, um, you know, it was challenging. And I was looking around at a lot of different documentaries, a lot of different, like, um, even things on, on Africa that covered meerkats because I was looking for kind of hints and clues about her own behaviors. So we watched Bobo. That was a favorite. Um, Keanu was um, uh, a really interesting movie. Um, had a cat that looked just like her brother in it. Um, but, you know, that cat in that movie, for the age of the kitten, you know, I was looking at, I was looking at my cat and her normal behavior, and then I was looking at this kitten and Keanu. And I could tell, I could tell, like I could tell with Spuds McKenzie, you know, that that's just not like, um, how do I put it, like breed appropriate or age appropriate behavior for an animal sometimes you see in movies. So yeah, animal movies could sometimes be tough for us, you know, like sometimes we liked watching them um, because they showed them like the wildlife, the wildlife documentaries, but Animal Planet could be rough because it showed a lot of veterinary stuff and very harmful stuff, so sometimes we watch National Geographic. And the Keanu movie is just like the Spuds McKenzie movie. They're just not moving around normally, you know, for a normal animal, you know. Um, we watched a lot of animal movies. Um, we watched May and, um, Mayor Hathia. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it translates to me and my elephant. And there's a great song on the soundtrack that at the end that uh, just is really, I, I love the reprise of the of the theme song. And it's really, it's, it's I don't want to ruin the ending for anyone <laughs> because if you want to see it, it's a great, great Indian movie about a man and his elephant. And, and um, we watched a lot of movies like that about People in situations like Bobo and May and Mayor Hati are, are about people that live with animals that most people don't usually live with. One is Bobo the Chimp and people that live with the chimpanzee. That's a documentary. And May and Mayor Hati is a fictional story, but it's about uh, the one guy in the town that handles the elephants and is really good with the elephants. And It's a great movie. It's kind of dated, but... I don't know. I love Indian movies. The other one we liked was uh, Smallfoot, um, the cartoon, and I just I thought that was that movie was just made for us. Um, we had that kind of back and forth, smaller, larger, 
you know, what's true for everyone was not true for us, and, and this, this vice versa, this reverse philosophy, that the cartoon Smallfoot was just amazing, you know, at, at capturing. We, we really liked Smallfoot. And uh, the other one, I, I mean, she watched a lot of movies, a lot of Indian movies, a lot of, a lot of you know, gay movies when he had TV. Uh, Tennessee Queer was one I really liked. She actually um, probably watched Cold Water with me, which is, you know, she was always aware of those types of movies. We watched a lot of those. So I know when when those uniforms came into our house, I, I know that this cat, you know, was fearing for her life. She had seen, you know, prison movies, and um, I mean, Indian movies have a lot of police corruption movies, a lot of insurgent movies, a lot of good, bad, and otherwise uniform movies. So she knew, I, I knew they had to be just terrified, you know. I was, I, I still am. I mean, I had guns, like, hanging right in my face. Um, at the same time, they were upstairs just wrecking their room and wrecking their lives, you know. And I'm just, like, trying to figure out outside and trying to avoid getting shot at the same time, figure out why are they coming to take my animal. And they're just hoping I do something stupid so they can shoot me, you know, basically. You know. But she knew. She knew about movies like Shootout. She knew about movies like Kitab. You know, she knew about Krish. She knew about Billa. She knew about things like that. She knew about uh, movies like Heli, which is really, really, which the police ended up making themselves look like <laughs> in the end. She was uh, very good that way, and I wanted her to know about those things in, in life because uh, they were important. Not because I wanted them to happen to her, because I guess I wanted, if they happened to her, I wanted her to know that it wasn't her fault and she wasn't the only one. Maybe to know enough to run away from it if she was able to. Maybe enough to prepare for it mentally if she was unable to run away. I always watch those things with her. Yeah, the fun one, more more fun ones. She loved the tragedies. She loved the comedies. She loved, you know, we just hung out. I mean, she went with me everywhere. So if I was downstairs watching movie, she was watching movie too. And, uh, you know, the, the one we really loved, which was ridiculous, is Big Man Japan. And that's only because, like, they at the end, the cat, change his size, and I think that's always been a fantasy of hers, probably, you know, I don't know. If I spent my my life as a cat her size, I might look at a movie or see an image like Big Man Japan and get ideas, too, you know. But she really loved that one, and we watched it a couple of times, and I loved that one. I, I, I must admit, when those, when those police came, I just wished... I wish I could have turned them all into big man Japan that day because I think that would have been the only thing that could have kept them safe from those police that day. See the movie if you haven't seen it. It's, it's sad I wanted to own it. She also saw Departures, Awakening, she saw a few movies on the Asian channel. She saw Battleship Island. And every time I think of her trying to be nice to those cops, just to get a whiff of her kittens back from them, 
from the people that shouldn't even be in her house. Every time I think of that, I just think of that kid yelling, Bantha.